means you get off the bus. I'm gonna get Alice killed. Watch this. We have to go. Any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. What a caring individual. So apparently the androids don't have a nice database they can pull on. Yeah, we'll just go sit over there at the parking spot. Okay. Right. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. Get a uh, get stay in those garbage bins. No androids allowed. Owners will be prosecuted. Do I want to know? It's green. Let's go. Um, Alice? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Mm-hmm. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. for tonight. Hmm. Thank you for using Detroit buses. I mean, in theory though, wouldn't they like GPS tracker? Get the kid back. I did not check the street. I have no idea which was cars come. That I could have Look, just murdered her. still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Convince Cashier to help. Convince the guy at a minimum wage job to help us. This is gonna go great. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Okay. I'm, I'm planning on. Oh, this is getting interesting. <laughs> I don't know what other convenience stores they got, but I have never seen those kind of things in a convenience store. Is that the security camera?
food for Alice. <laughs> uh, watch. Steal it. You can't take from that. That would be extremely obvious we took from there. to take that. Use Alice. Sure. Alice, I need your help. You see those cans over there? I want you to go over and knock them down. Knock them down? But why? Please. Alice, just trust me. Oh, so I can steal from the cash register. Go be a good girl and knock over all the cans. Wait for it. Go. You all right? Oh, I got a hold. Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. A few cans. Come on, let's go. Bye, dude. <laughs> hey, Myra Bella. I'm like the best troll. Oh, he just... He found out pretty fast that he got jacked. Fuck. <laughs> Poor dude. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? Mm. I trusted you. We need money, Alice. You're not making anything. Uh, apologize. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again. Until we need cash. Then I'll do it again. But you're safe till then. Don't worry. <sighs> it's probably like a one-star motel. I have to like, uh, don't do that. I just want to, I don't know if to step on the, there it's green, let's go. Gotta play it safe. Gotta be a better, better role model here. Slash, I'm also afraid of dying if I cross the street. What does that do? An abandoned house. Please tell me you're not considering that. Out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. Neither do I. I know. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. Can cut fence here with a wire cutter. I don't have a wire cutter. Squat in house, question mark? We're not squatting in a house. We're going to stay at the motel with the $3 we, you know, took. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. I don't think I have 40 bucks. No Android allowed. Of course. We're not going in? We can't, Alice. They'll never give a room to an Android. We have to get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. Sleep in motel, squat in house. Okay, hey, well, time to jack clothes. Oh, that dude's fine. He won't tattle on us, I'm sure. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. So the guy goes, hey, that's my laundry. I mean, 
can't really talk to that guy. Hold on. Look at other options before I do the obvious. Take the clothes right in front of the dude. Alright, let's do it. Whoop. Uh, what do we got here? The B line to disaster. Hey. Pollinating bees of shooks. Officially extinct. For decades, scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations. Despite these warnings, the Global Institute of Endangered Species announced at their Washington AGM yesterday that wild bees are now officially extinct. Living specimens exist only in captivity. Bee numbers have been ravaged in recent decades by colony collapse disorder, where worker bees disappear, leaving hives which cannot fade themselves. Biologists confirm that CCD was accelerated by the overuse of pesticides in crops, parasites, and pollutions. Man, this is hitting really close to home. <laughs> now, the consequences of this catastrophe will be felt across the cotton industry, fresh water supplies, and most disturbingly, agriculture. Environmentalist Kathy Linda has stressed the breadth of the news. One in three mouthfuls of food we eat relies on pollination of some kind. The resulting famine will lead to millions of deaths worldwide. Cyberlife, in cooperation with the GIES, have come forward with plans on creating robotic bees. Some are pursuing non-robotic approaches, such as Detroit Urban Farms currently experimenting with modified strains of bee produced in captivity but there is no guarantee that they will thrive. It's time to face the music. Live concerts to make a comeback. 10 ways to please your man. Well, got me. Uh, for the younger generation, watching concerts VR has become the norm, and who wouldn't want to slip on a VR headset and enjoy the show from the best seat in the house? It's a cheap, safe, and no-hassle solution to watching your favorite performers. Really? Hmm. But live music is about to be de-revolutionized. Nina and Kosuk Music have launched a campaign to bring back old school concerts with live audience spread of performers in the flesh. Chuck Morrison, uh, NKM spokesperson explains the culture of going to live concerts is a thing of the past, but we want to bring that back. Real music is when it's vibrating through your soul, surrounded by people who are experiencing the same thing. Break the Wall will be one of the first bands to take the stage. Performing in front of a live audience and getting an immediate reaction will be mind-blowing. This is what music is supposed to be all about, says lead. Singer? Makes sense, kind of hard to see that. Baz Rudd, the hype, the applause, the screams. You just don't get that sitting on your sofa. This proves success, and KM's next step is to bring back music festivals, which should be music to fans All right, now that we're done reading, she's over there freezing, probably hungry. What are you doing? I'm stealing clothes. clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. We can't do that. I already did it five minutes ago. I'm sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. Sorry, dude. Oh, that's risky. Oh, jeez. Come on, me. Don't fuck this up. Oh, you could probably go without the Duke. I guess we're gonna take his laundry hamper too. Oh, yep. Wow. That's not necessary. <laughs> I'm going to die in a laundromat.
Okay, if you're trying to sneak out, don't slam the door behind you, but... Let... Well, let's go to the motel. It's fine. I mean, at least we left that, right? Delinquent. I am doing what's necessary for survival. Hi. Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. Pay. Just need your name and address. Um, please tell me you lie. Archer. Oh, Can I see your driver's license? Uh, I forgot it. We, we we were in a rush. I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Right. Have a good night. Good night. Forty bucks up front. Not worried about ID. Well, you know. Do you think he believed you? Nope. I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Waiting for the cops to show up. I give us about five minutes in the room before they come a knocking. Optimal temperature. Perfect. <laughs> Worst case. That's like best case in my Here, world. Give me your coat. I've already nuked like what? Two, three, three people? No, four. At least four. Uh huh. So I definitely don't have my Android clothes on anymore, so I definitely got naked in that laundromat. So far, no cops. Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. <laughs> if they have a UV light, you don't use it at a $40 motel. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. You already know. You spent 40 bucks. Uh, are you gonna... Are we gonna... Wow, that's old school. If I have to come back and monitor those, I am 99% sure they're gonna burst into flames. Chocolate bar. Are you hungry? All I can think with a candy bar is back to like The Walking Dead and be like, Clementine will remember that. Hello. Why didn't he ever love me? Ooh. Why was he always so upset with me? 
All I wanted was a life like other girls. Don't give me a prompt. Maybe I did something wrong. Don't do it. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. Oh, thank goodness. You'll never leave me, right? Ooh. I promise you'll never go. <laughs> God, promise. It's obvious promise. I promise. Will we be together forever? I mean, you're gonna die before I will. Forever. I'm an android. I, I feel strongly that I will live longer than her. I'm going to turn off the light, okay? Because every time I have ended up killing someone else that resulted in my death. So technically I'm probably gonna get her killed and then I'll get shot. I mean, sure. Uh, sure. And here comes the cops. <laughs> nope, we're good. Woo, okay. Let's have a look at what we're dealing with here. Stop, leave the bus. Talk to the Hendra trash collector. Yep. Enter laundromat. Check motel. Enter supermarket. Talk to clerk. Notice cash register. Use Alice's to. Really? Not a lot of people did what I did. Really? They didn't steal a chocolate bar. What? Fifty-four percent of us left the supermarket. What happened to the other percentage? My questions are many. <laughs> Enter laundromat. Oh, I did read them. Steal clothes. Where? People stole the clothes and didn't wear them? I'm assuming would be the other option? Really? 30%? Six percent gave chocolate. Do you think that's based on six percent of the people that had the chocolate, or six percent out of all the people that had the option, or didn't have the option? Four percent watch from the chair. It's just cold. All right. Well, there's there's that route. Hmm. Oh my gosh, we're okay? I didn't kill him. That's where you got shot. Dottie did damage. All systems in low power mode. Okay. 
Let me just find a USB cable and plug it into you. Left and right leg components. Okay, so we got no legs. Replace legs. Okay. This is turning into like Terminator stuff. and compatible. I mean, could be a pirate. We just peg like the other one. I don't think I've ever seen a pirate with two peg legs. Get out of here, leg garbage. Analyzing. Compatible. Oh, geez. Okay, now do we need to find a new eyeball and ear? God, what is wrong with us? Seriously, how many years in the future and we're still just chucking stuff in a dump pile? Good lord. I wonder if the bees are all... There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho! Find Jericho! Just gonna... Don't want to take their eyeball? Not creepy at all. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, this is just messed up. Is there no compassion for these poor little things? Nothing? Incompatible. Yeah. That looks like an eyeball. Nope. Oh, see, I'd like to believe that at this stage they came up with something but apparently not see the biggest problem is we're all just so greedy need all the monies that's where we're doing hey compatible fine Really want to live in a dump? I can't find this piece. Because I spared you. I'm coming back and taking you out. I'm a 
Okay. And this. I don't want to live anymore. Sure. You're welcome. Hopefully you've got parts I need. Really? Not even gonna look at that? Just execute a guy and not take any of his bits. That's the lady we didn't want to take from. Yeah. There's also like no money in renewable, which sounds horrible. Which is why it'll probably never switch. Holy camera angles, Batman. Okay, can you walk around? Yep. This one looks active. Is it still... I'm freaking killing you. I need it. That's the spirit, Angelo. Does this give me back scanning? Nope, that's garbage. weird that these guys had it programmed into them to know what compatible parts are and what aren't I mean sure going to the store purpose but like raiding corpse purposes and I'm hitting corpse because they're still kind of moving Hey. Let's fix my headphones. The eyeball. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. Can you not talk I to me while I'm doing this? What can I do for you? Uh... My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife Maintenance Center. I'm stabilized. comes quick time events. Get ready for the slip.
Oh, it's push and hold. Yeah. I understand how to read the difference. Why'd they stop the triumphant music? That was, uh, that's really good. Taking a rock. Um, what are you ripping off? Oh. We stick a toque on if we could just rip off the. Ugh. Stole some poor guy's freaking hat. Cover a button you can rip off. Ugh. Now I feel like a jerk. problem why it probably will never change to renewable and everything is a there's not that big of penalties when people do pour their garbage like it's like oh look i poured all this raw sewage into the stream oh i've only got to pay a small fine i made like triple that but sure click done nah marcus came back for the dead Oh, so you did have to get the pump that way. I understand. Slash, I, we need better solutions, because I, I agree, cleaning up your streets is nice and everything, but all we're doing is taking our garbage, and instead of having it, like, kind of everywhere, we're just putting it in, like, one giant pile. It's not really solving anything. It's just like, hey, it's in one big garbage pile, as opposed to all over the place garbage. Hooray! I'm fixed. Or I'm different. Uh... What? Am I still a police? Am I still the same guy, or is this Android Heaven? I think that's the only reason people are okay with throwing their garbage in the trash bin is this whole idea that because the garbage man picked it up, it just... Poof! It's gone. Right? Please tell me that's how it works. Right? <laughs> Hello? Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Okay. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It would be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Uh, traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. 
as if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Uh, intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Uh, adapt. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best Oops. interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Kana left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. did nothing wrong there. Well, I did something wrong. I got killed. Like a genius. Like, apparently dying's not too bad because both of them are kind of back, right? Do not cross this line. This line is open. Hello. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. You might be in shock. Oh, shit. Fucking machine can kill everyone in the room. Uh. uh I gotta look at the name tags. Can't know what it is. Nope. Mm. Nope. Uh huh. All right, I'll chase it up. It's probably got the most important desk up there. Nope. He does not. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. Ha ha. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. He's a drunk. Ha ha ha. <laughs> you and you come with me. And everyone's clearly aware. Wow, we sit pretty proper. Slouch a little, Connor. Relax. Do I need to stand? I literally just sat. Okay, getting up. Knights of the Black Death. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's a Detroit basketball cap. It's got some cotton and polyester. Matches from Jimmy's bar. Multi-department unit responsible for the Red Ice Network dismantle. Must not have done a good job because we just saw someone who was on Red Ice. Just 
Just saying. Cannon hairs. Aw, St. Bernard. You don't bleed the same color. Wow. Hating on the androids. Donuts, calories, 452. Wow, look at that. Oh, cholesterol, 19. Ugh. Ugh. Cold coffee. Traces of caffeine. Yep, there's caffeine in your coffee. Is that a dead bonsai tree? Nope, Japanese maple. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Oh, let's enter and listen in. It's probably more exciting than exploring the office. Find donuts and bad coffee. Oh, stairs, man. Let me guess, you're a drunk, you need to do better. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, <laughs> nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Uh. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. <laughs> Here you go, Connor. That's a nice little touch. Let's go check on Hank. I'm sure he'll love that. Hit him with a good old... Hello. I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, partners? Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Alright. Let's go uh, check these files. Probably is with Red Ice. Since they've already touched on the whole B situation. 
garbage and androids spying on us. Like, they're just touching all of it. Dog? You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. I am basically being nothing but nice to you, man. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. So you didn't see. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. I'm still baffled that he was confused that the same android came in. I mean, like, it's like going, oh my gosh, an Xbox that looks like my Xbox. Holy moly. I saw someone break it last night. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Why do? We, why is it always the the cop that's struggling the most? Why can't we have the over top achiever guy on our team? If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Alright, case file. His parents, victim Gordon Lopez. Case signed to lieutenants. Case status open. Involving Android? Yes! He reports that he left his android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break-in in the apartment. The android may have left the home without being ordered to. Is that it isn't a cop movie? That's fair. Case for evidence attacked victim Charles Bell. Case signed to Lieutenant Anderson. Case status open. Plaintiff claims to have been attacked by an AV-500 number 2347778211 model android working as a waiter in the fast... Coney Dogs. Hmm. Restaurant chain situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. Uh, attack Sarah Cornwall. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, an AP700 model. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. But... Just just once, it would be nice to have an overachiever fall from grace, wouldn't it? As opposed to someone who's already in the toilet coming back and saving everything. Uh, the plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex android. Wink. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Did you check the customer's home? Maybe he's still using the android. Maybe he can go more than one round. Two hundred and forty-three files. Holy moly! First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX four hundred is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I 
I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? I probably can. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Is this where I tell him I'm fireproof? <laughs> Well, hangs a butthole. In the Zen Garden. Right, police station. Found him. Explored the station. Clearly missed a bunch. Hey, we examined his desk. Hank storms out. Hank, <laughs> talk about the case. Hank is mad. Hank got a lead. All right.